to my channel. I'm so sorry for my such a long like wait between videos. I've had a really mad month, but don't worry, I will catch you up on that. And I'm sorry about my hair as well. I shall address it now. And um, it's up in a bun. That won't be there for long, but you know, yeah, <laughs> we'll live and we learn. Anyway, I have come back with a haul because you know, shopping is pretty much what I do best. And so yeah, I thought I'd show you what I've been buying recently with this whole transitional period from England's really hot summer to now our sort of chilly but quite dry autumn so yeah um the first thing i'm going to show you is you can probably see it down here it looks like a fairy friend but it's not a fairy friend well kind of is um it is a uh a faux fur shawl i guess you would call this and these were you know really really popular last winter maybe even the winter before h&m did a did a um fur collar and um it sold out everywhere and i could not get my hands on it and uh, last winter, again, they made one slightly more expensive and it was a little bit thinner and I wasn't that much of a fan of it. Then I saw this one in Topshop for £25 um, and I absolutely loved it and it's so cool and when I have my hair down it's quite a lot of hair going on but it's nice to have on top of jackets and jumpers and things. It's really, really warm and I think I said it was £25 but yeah, really, really cool. I love it and I can't wait to get wearing it but it'll have to wait until it's a little bit cooler outside. It's not quite fur collar weather yet. Um, the next thing I bought was from H&M. I'm, no I'm no order. This is all random. <laughs> Sorry. And it's this necklace. Everybody, everybody and their mum has been wearing a chain necklace recently and I just haven't found one that's long enough for me. I've got quite a short neck and I find that some necklaces make me look a little bit like, you know, I've got a really squished neck which isn't very attractive as you can imagine. So I found this silver one in H&M which is lovely actually and it goes with everything. And it was $7.99 and so yeah, I'm really liking that and I've worn that a lot since I've had it. Um, I have two new makeup items. I have a very dirty actually. I hate um, Superdrug. In England we have two sort of main drug stores, um, Superdrug and Boots. And for some reason Superdrug think they need to attach these security tags onto their items. So that if you buy them, to get open them, you have to take off this massive security tag and have the biggest like glue area on your item, which just gets everything stuck to it, and I hate it. But anyway, back to the product. It is Ramel's Scandal Eyes Retro Glam um, in number one, which is black, and it's it's just a normal black mascara, quite a thick, quite a big wand with a kind of bubble um, situation going on, and I really like it actually. Um, I hated the original Scandal Eyes; it was way too wet of a formula and the brush was way too big for the eye, but with that I'm going on pretty well with it, and I was going to do a, a review on that later on. And the next is a little bit more expensive, it is a MAC lipstick, um, in a very subtle tone, um, as you can imagine. Um, it's called Candy Yum Yum. Um, I have Impassioned by MAC, which is a really bright pink as well, um, but it's coming to its last legs, and so I was going to um, just replace Impassioned, then I saw this pink, and I was like, wow. That needs to be my collection, so that is my new friend. Um, and I've worn it a few times, but it's very bold, so I have to be really careful with what I wear. I have to go really, really plain. <laughs> um, next is from Topshop. Uh, oh, inside out, Topshop. Hold on. There we go. From previous hauls, I'm sure you've seen that I'm a massive fan of these Topshop crop tops or Topshop cami tops. Um, with the really, really thin spaghetti straps. I have every single fluorescent colour I feel as if they come in. Um, and this is no different, apart from it is a, just a crop. So it is navy blue backing with the lime green and cream leopard print. And I love it. It was £22. And it just looks so cute with everything. So, you know, I had to treat myself. I decided to. Um, let me see. I did it. I went back to Topshop and I took the plunge and I thought I'd trust a Joni Jean again and I have not been um, disappointed actually. I read a lot of my comments in my last video, I don't know if you've seen it, but I bought the Joni Jeans when they first came out and I was really really disappointed in them and actually ended up taking them back. Um, and I was going to rebuy a Lee Jean, but they've changed the fitting of Lee Jeans now in Topshop so they're not quite the same. So I tried on a Joni Jean and thought I would take the plunge um, with their indigo colour. And I love them and I'm so glad I listened to you guys on my comments and I bought them again and I'm going to do another video about them I think. Um, but yeah, for a really super skinny, super high waisted jean, 
these are the way forward. I bought them in a 26 waist um, to fit a 32 leg because I didn't have any 30 legs. And so I just rolled them up um, no end at the bottom. But yeah, they're really lovely, a lovely colour and super, super comfy. Um, might as well stay on Topshop. I had an interview actually last week, week before last. Yeah, so I had to buy all my clothes a very very casual and then where I have had work before I work in all black and I can wear pretty much what I'd like as long as it's sort of stylish and it wasn't really um, interview attire I didn't think so I went out with my mum to Topshop of course of all places and I bought this really really cute top it's little daisies and it's got buttons all the way down the back um, it's black with the cream and then the fluorescent yellow which is my favourite colour so I thought well might as well have a little snippet of me in there and to go along with those, I bought a pair of um, work trousers. Let me just get those out for you. And I think they called the, the, these the skinny cigarette trouser. They're just black. They have seams on the front of both of the legs. Oh, and they are cropped. Um, for me, they are anyway. They're like sort of ankle grazes for me, which is really good and really flattering because I find a lot of work trousers make me look like I'm 12, um, which isn't very attractive. But anyway, um, I got these in a size... 10 and they were 22 pounds and for a pair of work trousers I thought well I could wear them anyway even if I don't get the job um, and so I took the plunge and bought those the top was a little bit more expensive it was 30 pounds but I really really liked it and it looked really cute um, and I did actually get the job so why <laughs> that's good for me I'll talk about that more in another video um, let me see I've got two pairs of shoes and one jacket so I'm gonna go for the jacket even though it's my newest buy so I went to see my boyfriend this, maybe I should keep that on arm's reach. Um, I went to see my boyfriend this weekend and I walked into the top shop where he is at uni and I almost had a little heart palpitation because as I've mentioned previous, like <laughs> 10 times in this video already, my favorite color is fluorescent yellow. I've just got a new job, which means I need some more office attire um, clothes. And um, I saw this. <laughs> Um, the best jacket I think I've ever seen in my whole entire life. It is fluorescent yellow, it is cropped, um, it has cute little lapels that poke in but can also be bent out, little pockets. It was £55, which is really painful and it took me a long time um, to deliberate whether to buy it or not. Um, but my boyfriend really kindly gave me his student discount, so <laughs> it was um, 49 50 I think after a discount. But I just love it and I thought even with like just black, um, a black dress, it would look so cool. So yeah, I had to go for that and I had to I had to take the plunge and buy it. And now my wardrobe is very yellow, but you know, eh, it could be worth. And I have two pairs of shoes. Um, as I have a new job, um, I won't be getting discount off shoes anymore because I won't be working with June anymore, which is a real shame. I handed in my notice on Friday. So it's really sad because I've worked there for now for two and a half years and yeah, I'm gonna miss it a lot. But anyway, um, so I have bought two pairs of shoes in the last month or so. Um, even before I applied for this job. Um, so yeah, these are the first pair I bought. They're called Lenissa. They are a trainer and I've worn them a heck of a lot so they have really dirty um, soles so I'm not going to show you those. Um, they are black leather with um, pony skin, sort of a leopard print design there with little gold bits and a little gold bit on the lace there and they're so cool. I think they're £69 full price. Actually I don't think it, I know it, which is expensive, but they're so, so comfortable and they look really, really cool with whatever I wear, so um, yeah, I would recommend them. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to wear them for my new job, I think they're a little bit too cash, um, but I'll wear them outside of work, so I really like those. And my next pair are a pair that actually I could wear for work and I didn't really think about it when I bought them, I just wanted a pair of more sensible heels, because a lot of mine are sort of very high. And they're these, these are called a point, which are sort of a mid, well, I would call that a mid heel, but I guess technically that's a high heel if you don't have any platform. And um, they're pointed black suede, um, and they're so, so elegant on, they're really, really gorgeous, and I love them. I've already worn them a few times, actually. Um, I didn't wear them to my interview because I didn't want to go too smart, but I think I will be wearing them for work a few days, so I'm really excited to get those and wear them. Um, and apart from that, the only other new thing are my jeans I'm wearing now, and they're a vintage pair of Levi 512s, I think, which are kind of 
a vintage version of the mom jeans in Topshop, which my mum actually bought off eBay and they didn't fit her, so, well hey, I got some free jeans and I absolutely love them and she gave them to me on the Friday, on Thursday and I've worn them um, Friday, Saturday, Monday, which is today, so three days out of the four days I've had them, so that's not bad at all. Um, I would show you, but this is kind of an awkward position, so I'll probably do an outfit of the day and then I'll post it up and you can see what I'm wearing, which is probably a lot better. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all well. Um, please um, comment, rate, and give me some. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Give me some requests of what you'd like to see on my channel. I've got loads of ideas, and I'm back in the swing of things now. I have got my life sorted out and kind of on track. Um, so yeah, I hope you're all well, and I shall see you guys soon. Lots of love. Bye bye.